Hi all, how are you doing today? I am in the greenhouse on a lovely early spring day. Today is March 29th, I believe, and I'm going to plant some corn salad or mosh, I'm not sure how you say that, and some spinach. I'm checking the soil temperatures out here because my experience with spinach is it's a little hard to germinate and um, when you do it in the soil when it's too warm, it's not good. So I'm out here checking the temps. I'll show you what I've got so far. And this is the south bed of our greenhouse. So in the south bed, it's about 52 degrees. There's still a little bit of shade in that area. You can see it's sunnier over here, shadier over there. So I'm gonna try to keep it in the shadier area. So in the summer, this south bed gets a lot of direct sun. It's really hot in the south bed. Bright, sunshiny days are like, you can hardly be in here, 110 degrees, even with the windows open. So I did just order a shade cloth, a 30% shade cloth. So we'll see how that goes this summer. But I'm gonna put all of the spinach and that corn salad in this bed. Let's see how long I can get it to grow. I think summer or until summer, I think I'll be able to get it to grow. And then maybe after that, it'll be too stressed and it'll want to bolt. And then what happens is the north bed gets to be a little shadier. So then maybe I could direct sow some over there. I don't know. I think it'll be too hot, but I'm kind of excited about the shade cloth. I know that sounds kind of a nerdy thing to be excited about, but I'm excited to see how that changes things in here over the summer. It is interesting to see that in the full sun on the south bed, it's, you know, almost 10 degrees different. So I've got this corn salad that I'm going to put back here in this corner and I've got two kinds of spinach, Bloomdale, sorry, Bloomsdale Long Standing and then this is new, um, a lizard spinach <laughs> and this is a smooth leaf and this is a savoy leaf, or at least partial. Um, I like the smooth leaf. It's usually what you see in the grocery stores, um, and I like it because it's easier to clean. But I like the Savoy because it, I don't know, tastes better to me. Um, I'm also conducting another experiment, north bed versus south bed. I'm gonna plant some more carrots up here. I have these Napoli carrots already back there in that north bed that are germinating well. Um, but I'm also gonna put some of these what were they called? Bolero carrots. And I'm gonna put those up here. This is the corn salad seed. I'm just gonna kind of broadcast it in a couple of wide rows right here. It doesn't have to go very deep. So someone asked me, what are the things you're thinking about, Nina, when you're planting these seeds? Like, what things am I paying attention to? And I'm paying attention to, really in the greenhouse, because this is only our first year, this will be our first season planting things in here, growing things in here, when it was fully enclosed. Last year, we didn't have the end walls on over the summer. So while the Lexon was done, and the north wall, the two end walls were open. So it was kind of like really being in a high tunnel with, the, with no ends on it, I guess. But yeah, my number one concern is the heat in here because up here it gets over 100 degrees before noon now. The other thing I'm thinking about is sunlight. Where is it going to get enough sunlight hours that it needs. 
So these are the spinach seeds. They're a lot bigger, so they'll go a little bit deeper. But I'm just going to break some soil over the top of all of these. Can you hear all of the snow sliding off of the roof? So as I'm going along here prepping this bed to put some more carrots in this south bed, my thought was just to put them along the, put one row all the way along that short wall there. Cause it'll stay a little shaded there, a little cooler. I'll have some taller things in front of it. I'm noticing some little bugs, which I think might be flea beetles, but I'm not sure. See all the little black spots? I saw one jump is what made me think it was a flea beetle. Mm. Nope, maybe not. I guess we'll have to do a little research and figure out what those are. Anybody got any ideas? So for now, until we get the, the water lines back out here, I'm just using this little handheld battery operated shower head to water things. And since there's not too much out here right now, it seems to work fine. So again, here's the shade. And you can kind of tell over there that I watered from there to about there, but it's already drying up. I did that last night, so. so I should probably go over there and water there as long as I'm watering. I've had really good germination with these Napoli carrots in here. I didn't cover them like I have outside with the board. But um, keeping them wet every day, I think, helps so they don't burn up in the sun. The Chiaga beets, they were okay. They were a little um, older seeds. I'd had them for, I think, a couple years. This might be their third year that I was trying to use this same seed packet. But <clears throat> I've got so many successions planned for beets this year that it's not a big deal. Oh, and it didn't help that a chicken got up here. I'll plug in that video right here. What happened, Owen? I got one in just right now. Okay, a couple more. Good job. All right, um, how do we get her back in? Should we walk her up the ladder? Or you can hand her to me? The spider ladder. <laughs> do you wanna walk up with her and hand her to me? Don't, don't lose her. Grab her. That's all of them? Yeah. So I did a little research about the bugs we found in the greenhouse after I recorded the most of this video. 
and found out they're called springtails. Um, they're found in areas of high moisture, um, areas that have a lot of organic debris. They're a nuisance, but they do not damage food, clothes, furniture, or property. They don't bite or sting. So they like wet areas um, and they're eating fungus or molds that are in the soil there. So apparently they're not something I need to worry about when it comes to the plants I'm growing in there. So that's great. I'm just going to leave them alone. And it sounds like once the moisture dries up, they tend to go away or they die. So that's good news for once. So thanks again for watching. Um, if you're new here, please subscribe. If you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. We'll talk to you again later.